When you're on TV almost every day, you're bound to have occasional and very televised problems. Numerous morning TV personalities have become entangled in some pretty big messes over the years. You don't have any product? Well, please don't ever touch me again. From backstabbing memos to on-air fights, here are some major scandals that have plagued morning TV. Today Show anchor Billy Bush was suspended in October 2016 following the leak of a video from behind the scenes of a 2005 episode of Access Hollywood. The video, which since became infamous for its impact on the 2016 presidential election, has Bush and Republican candidate Donald Trump describing making lewd and unwanted sexual advances towards women, including host Nancy O'Dell. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. I just kiss. <laughs> I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. They also discussed the appearances of Days of Our Lives actress Ariane Zucker, who gave Bush and Trump a tour of the soap opera set. In the video, Bush encourages Zucker to hug Trump and continues to make rude remarks about the actress. When the video first leaked, Bush released a statement to Page Six saying, Obviously, I'm embarrassed and ashamed. It's no excuse, but this happened 11 years ago. I was younger, less mature, and acted foolishly in playing along. I'm very sorry. In a memo to Today staffers sent two days after the video leaked, executive producer Noah Oppenheim wrote, I know we've all been deeply troubled by the revelations of the past 48 hours. Let me be clear, there is simply no excuse for Billy's language and behavior on that tape. NBC has decided to suspend Billy pending further review of this matter. Bush was absent from the show in the following days. Uh, as you can see, uh, Billy Bush not joining us today, as you're probably aware. Part of that 2005 Access Hollywood taping with Donald Trump that's been in the news all weekend. Meanwhile, one insider reportedly told CNN, quote, he will never be on the show again, end quote. In April 2016, Michael Strahan shocked audiences when he announced he was leaving live with Kelly and Michael to join Good Morning America in the fall. Apparently, no one was more shocked than Strahan's co-host Kelly Ripa, who reportedly received the news just as the press release was being sent out. Amid a sea of rumors about the show's future, Ripa skipped work the next day, leaving Strahan to address his high-profile exit without her. TMZ followed up with a report that Ripa's return to live came only after tough talks with Disney. Ripa addressed the scandal on her first day back. As more and more rumors surfaced about co-hosts' tense relationship, Disney announced that Strahan would leave the show four months earlier than planned. Ripa seemingly confirmed things were not cool between her and Strahan in a number of on-air jabs directed at Strahan. I want to take him into contract negotiations with me. <laughs> Ripa's anger over Strahan's exit may have been partially fueled by a case of deja vu. Ripa's former co-host Regis Philbin pulled a similar stunt by telling Ripa he was retiring just 15 minutes before he made the announcement on air. At the time, Ripa was reportedly blindsided by the news, the same word used to describe her reaction to Strahan's departure. However, in that case, sources said that Ripa wasn't actually angry. On June 28, 2012, Ann Curry bid a tearful goodbye to The Today Show after co-anchoring the morning news program for barely a year, capping off a disastrous year of behind-the-scenes drama at Today. The ordeal was covered in a shocking 2013 cover story by New York Magazine, which put some of the blame for Curry's departure on her co-anchor Matt Lauer, who reportedly did not like Curry and failed to protect her during contract renegotiations. Their tense relationship played out disastrously on camera, both during Curry's farewell speech and when the two reunited for a segment at the Olympic Games in London. Whether directly related to the scandal or not, today's ratings quickly began to erode, and by August 2012, Good Morning America topped NBC's juggernaut morning program for the first time in about 17 years, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Today has been playing catch-up ever since, which is not to say that Good Morning America hasn't made its mistakes. When Good Morning America overtook Today in 2012, host Josh Elliott became a rising star for about two years. He was out at ABC after what The Hollywood Reporter described as a messy exit. According to the report, Elliott was demanding $10 million annually to stay. ABC offered $5 million. Meanwhile, Page Six also reported that Elliott immediately wanted George Stephanopoulos' job as co-lead anchor, none of which happened. 
Amid the drama, it was announced he'd be leaving ABC to join NBC Sports, where again he lasted less than two years. Elliott and NBC mutually agreed to part ways after the network couldn't find a proper role for him, and according to sources, he was being paid $5 million a year to do basically nothing. In March 2016, Page Six reported that Elliott would become lead anchor for CBSN, CBS News' digital streaming news network, which is either a huge promotion or a huge demotion, depending on which side of the technology debate you're on. Of the many on-air and behind-the-scenes controversies on The View, none will ever top the epic on-air fight between Rosie O'Donnell and Elizabeth Hasselbeck on May 23, 2007. Their debate over U.S. military involvement in Iraq grew so heated that O'Donnell quit the show after that episode aired. Do not! Do not! Less than a year later, O'Donnell told People magazine that she and Hasselbeck had buried the hatchet. But in 2014, Hasselbeck brought it all back up via an Instagram post, noting that she still considered O'Donnell's stance indefensible. Her worst offense? Using the word momversation. In 1989, a scathing memo written by Today Show anchor Bryant Gumbel criticizing much of the show's on-air talent leaked to the press, putting the program at the center of a media firestorm. The press paid special attention to Gumbel's comments about weatherman Willard Scott, which said, quote, Scott is holding the show hostage to his assortment of whims, wishes, birthdays, and bad taste. He can't leave this job and couldn't get a better one, end quote. The memo reportedly caused a rift between Gumbel and Scott behind the scenes, which Scott confirmed in an interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer, saying, quote, It was horrible. I didn't go out for a couple of months. I didn't go to church. I didn't mingle in crowds. I got sick of hearing, how's Bryant? It really was driving me crazy. I'm sure it drove him crazy, too. Unfortunately, he was the one who started it, end quote. Scott semi-retired in 1996. He continued to announce birthday wishes on Today until his official retirement in 2015. Gumbel, meanwhile, had left in 1997. Months after Gumbel's memo leaked, the Today Show battled more bad press amid rumors that its anchor of 13 years, Jane Polly, was about to be ousted by the younger, blonder Deborah Norville. According to People, the rumor started in September of 1989 after Norville replaced news anchor John Palmer and began sitting at the main desk alongside Polly and Gumbel. Months later, Polly confirmed she was, in fact, leaving after 13 years on the show. Her final morning on Today was a tearful broadcast on December 23, 1989. Plagued by tabloid scandals and unpopularity over Polly's ousting, Norville left Today in April 1991 after just 14 months on the job. She was replaced by Katie Couric. Incidentally, both Polly and Norville went on to bigger and even more lucrative careers. Polly became the host of Dateline and newest host of CBS Sunday Morning, and Norville was the host of Inside Edition. On November 29, 2017, Americans woke up to the shocking news that Matt Lauer, a staple of The Today Show for more than 20 years, had suddenly been fired by NBC News after the organization received what they called a detailed complaint from a colleague about inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. The news was delivered by Lauer's co-anchor of many years, Savannah Guthrie, who herself had learned of the news just an hour before the Today Show aired that morning. The complaint and Lauer's firing came on the heels of bombshell reports from Variety and The New York Times, which detailed Lauer's alleged inappropriate behavior over the years. Lauer eventually apologized for his actions in a statement released to the Today Show. There are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed." Sharon Osbourne was one of the original co-hosts on The Talk, CBS's answer to The View, when the show debuted in 2010, and she remained with the show until an awkward on-air discussion led to her ominous exit. It all began when TV host Pierce Morgan was fired from Good Morning Britain after claiming the Duchess of Sussex lied when she and husband Prince Harry alleged racism within the royal family during their interview with Oprah Winfrey. Osborne announced her support for Morgan in a since-deleted tweet, which led to an on-air discussion of race with the talk co-host Cheryl Underwood. The conversation didn't go well, with Osborne becoming combative as Underwood patiently tried to explain why Morgan's statements and Osborne's defense of them could be considered racist. After being criticized on social media, Osborne tweeted an apology, claiming she panicked, felt blindsided, got defensive, 
Meanwhile, CBS had initiated an internal review into the matter. Days later, CBS issued a statement announcing Osborne's exit from the talk. As Osborne subsequently told the Sunday Times, the controversy effectively ended her American television career, saying, here it was like I was dead. The following year, Osborne was the subject of a Fox Nation series, Sharon Osborne to Hell and Back, detailing her expulsion from the show. I was this lamb that was slaughtered that morning. In 2017, longtime Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly was hired by NBC with her new daytime talk show, Megyn Kelly Today, to replace the third hour of the networks today. Launching that September, early reviews were scathing. CNN's Brian Lowry, for example, detailed the awkwardness of the right-wing host, saying, she is conspicuously trying to reintroduce herself in the mold of Oprah Winfrey or Ellen DeGeneres, while distancing herself from her Fox News past. Kelly's show had only been on the air for a few weeks when an on-air discussion of blackface and Halloween costumes went off the rails after Kelly declared, Back when I was a kid, that was okay. Kelly's comments were instantly hit with backlash and reminders that just a few years earlier, she insisted on Fox News that Santa and Jesus are white. Kelly opened the following day's show by stating, And I want to begin with two words. I'm sorry. The apology, however, did little to quell the controversy. After she was dumped by her agents, it was reported that NBC had canceled the show, leaving her future with the network uncertain. Just over a year later, NBC officially severed all ties with Kelly. The network said in a statement, "...the parties have resolved their differences, and Megyn Kelly is no longer an employee of NBC." Kelly didn't walk away empty-handed, and ultimately received the entirety of her $69 million contract. Oscar-winning actor and comedian Whoopi Goldberg joined The View in 2007, ultimately becoming the show's moderator after the retirement of the late Barbara Walters in 2014. In January 2022, Goldberg stepped into controversy during a discussion of the Holocaust-themed graphic novel Mouse, which had been banned by a Tennessee school board. Goldberg said, The Holocaust isn't about race. Goldberg was immediately hit with backlash and subsequently offered an apology. In a since-deleted tweet, she wrote, I said the Holocaust is not about race, but about man's inhumanity to man. I should have said it is about both. Goldberg also apologized on the next episode of The View. She told viewers, But it is indeed about race, because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Those apologies, however, weren't enough. ABC News president Kim Godwin subsequently issued a statement via Twitter, announcing Goldberg's punishment, writing, Effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. While Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. Amy Robach joined ABC News in 2012, while TJ Holmes was hired in 2014. In 2020, the pair had been partnered to co-anchor GMA3, the third hour of ABC's flagship morning show Good Morning America. Sometime in 2021, rumors emerged the two were having an affair. In November 2022, the Daily Mail claimed the two were locked in a passionate romance, despite being married to other people. Holmes to immigration lawyer Marilee Feibig, Robach to former Melrose Place star Andrew Hsu. Shortly after, a subsequent story confirmed the relationship, with Holmes and Robach reportedly fessing up to their mutual employer as the whole thing unfolded in a frenzy of tabloid headlines. The two were then taken off the show while network execs tried to figure out how to handle the scandal. In January 2023, it was reported that neither had been fired, but it remained highly unlikely they'd be returning to GMA3. About two weeks later, it became official. Both Robach and Holmes were out. In a statement obtained by CNN, a network spokesperson said, After several productive conversations with Amy Robach and TJ Holmes about different options, we all agreed it's best for everyone that they move on from ABC News. The pair were subsequently spotted vacationing in Mexico, where they were photographed sharing a poolside kiss. Lawyer Star Jones was one of the original co-hosts hired by The View when the show launched in 1997. Jones's tenure on the show, however, came to be marred by controversy. By 2006, producers determined Jones's antics were eroding her credibility. Barbara Walters, the show's host and executive producer, told The New York Times, "...they had done a great deal of research, and her negatives were rising, not so much because of what she did on the air, it was things she did off the air. The audience was losing trust in her." As a result, Walters and her fellow producers decided to cut Jones loose, 
orchestrating a strategy to ensure a graceful departure. Jones, however, blew it all up when she went rogue during a broadcast, announcing her exit days before the official announcement had been scheduled. And I will not be returning as co-host next year. Oh, um, Needless to say, the off-script announcement left Walters feeling a little backstabbed. She told the Associated Press, I love Star, and I was trying to do everything I possibly could, up until this morning when I was betrayed, to protect her. 